Welcome back to N90X and the NetApp series. In the last video, I showed you how to create an aggregate on your NetApp filer. Now I want to show you how to create a volume. Again, you want to connect to your administrative console, the GUI, the Data on Tap GUI. Click on your filer view and go into volumes. And from there, you can click on add and you can create a new volume. Click next. Uh, I will select a flexible volume. I'll call it volume one. And I'm going to leave the defaults uh, as they are. Now I can select which aggregate I want to create the volume on. An aggregate can have many volumes attached to it. So basically, uh, aggregate is organizing your raw disk into a storage compartment. The volumes are then subdividing that aggregate into volumes, which you might almost consider as a virtual disk or a hard drive. Space guarantee, I'm not going to guarantee the storage which means it's going to be more flexible. Uh, aggregate 1 has 85 megabytes available. Um, so I'll click Next. Uh, now here I can decide how much of the storage available do I want to allot or allocate for this volume. Here's uh, where you select some parameters. For the volume size type, if I say total size, that means that whatever volume size I just declare here, that will be the total size that is reserved for this volume. But it may not be the actual usable size because some of the storage is needed for parity and that sort of thing, maybe a spare drive, that sort of thing. If I say usable size, then this, this val value here, 20 megabytes, will then be actually usable on that particular volume. So I know 20 megabytes, again, it's a very small number in relative terms. Um, this uh, Simulator supports up to 28 gigabytes, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, you can see it's going to be the same. It's just that I'm using smaller amounts of data. Uh, here I can reserve space for snapshots. Um, the value can be between 0 and 100%. The default size is 20%. I'll leave it at 20, um, meaning that I'm saving 20% for snapshots. And I'm going to commit. And in just a few seconds, uh, I have now successfully created a volume. Now, if I want to manage my volumes, I can see now that I've created a volume because I specified 20 megabytes total available. I have 20 megabytes actually available to me. So thank you for watching this video. That's showing you very quickly and easily how it is to create a volume on your NetApp filer. From all of us here at N90X, I'm Joe Moses, and I hope to see you right back here on this channel to see some more NetApp tutorials.